Welcome America, welcome Canada, welcome Philippines to a place where you can get your life. Now this is Fel Pal Durell and in today's video darling, we will be talking about how long can Phalaenopsis orchids live inside of water. You ought to stay tuned. Thanks for staying tuned, Fab Pals. Now, welcome to Orchids for Dummies. I have a lot of new growers growing orchids in water. And I just want to take time to let you guys know, step by step, what I would do, a complete guide to orchids growing in water that has all of this fuzziness in the water. That's going to be an indication that it's time to change that water. Look how crystal clear this one is. Well, it's a little fuzziness right there, but you see it's not to this extent. So we want to go ahead and remove that so we can have nice, clean, pure water such as these orchids over here, okay? All righty, Fab Pals. So most of you guys know that I have converted half of my collection into water culture. And from most of that collection which are some of my newer orchids. It's been two weeks and they are doing just fine. Now, I also have experimented with putting them in fish aquarium water, okay? And I just wanna give you guys an update on all of the great things that has happened and um, some of the bad things that has happened. So stay tuned. It will not be a long video, but please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. It's hard out there for an orchid channel. Please give this channel a like, okay? But I wanted you to see some of the root tips that I left alone, okay? As you can see, this is the video from, this is the orchid that I received from Norman. And over time, just a, a few weeks, roots that was cut off will come back, okay? So that's why I said you don't want to get to slicing and dicing, baby. Don't get to slicing and dicing because that's going to be how your orchid is going to um, retain nutrients, okay? That's how we're going to do it. So let's take a look at some of my other orchids that are in water culture. And we're going to take a look at the roots. You see how clear this is? This is how you want your water for your um, orchids growing in water culture, okay? New root tip development on my seedling and even my sickest of phalaenopsis. Can you see the new roots being developed on this leaf that only has two leaves? Can you see how some of the roots look mushy and gushy? Okay, let me hold it up to the light. It's black and brown, but as you can see, the water is very clear. It's very clear. As long as it's clear, leave it alone. Remember, I'm using um, pure brain water, and I'm using the water from my aquarium, which is going to be very pure. Very pure, baby. Let's look at one more before I show you an orchid that is not so good, and we're going to treat it step by step. A complete guide. Okay, I want you to have success growing your orchids in water as well. All of you guys that has been messaging me saying, hey, Fal Pal Durrell, I'm starting water culture on some of my orchids just to experiment. That's what it's all about, boo-boo kitty. That's what it's all about. Now, the reason I'm doing it is because I do not like to water my orchids. I don't like to water them. <laughs> But Fail Pals, can you see this orchid right here? This is what you guys been waiting on. Can you see how the roots have this fuzzy uzziness about it? This is what I mean when I say mushy and gushy. So we are going to have to take this baby out and we are going to get to slicing and dicing on some of these roots the right way. But as you can see, new root development is already being uh, made with this orchid. So she will be just fine, baby. She will be just fine. So you got to stay tuned. You got to. 
Now, fair pals, this is an orchid that I took the plug off of. It was doing very well with the plug. I took the plug off. You can see some of the roots are definitely not the best. Um, some of them, the string is even exposed. But fair pals, new beginners, until I start to get all of that fuzziness, all of that fuzziness we were just looking at in the other orchid, I'm going to leave it alone, okay? The leaves are still firm. It's holding its blooms. So there's going to be an indication that it's doing just fine, okay? It's doing just fine, foul pals. So I just want you guys to see, do not always be in a rush to cut the roots of the phalaenopsis off, okay? Give it time. Give it time. Just like you want the orchid to trust you, you have to trust the orchid. Stay tuned. I just wanted you guys to kind of see my plant stand one good time from the front. I don't like to move it. As you can see, it's an aquarium up under it, 10 gallons, supported by this galvanized wire. And I don't want to put it to the test. I don't. I already am testing it and trying it. But it, my orchids really are happy. And I just thank God for each one, teach one. All of my amazing foul pals that have helped me grow along the way. Now, if you are um, just now getting into the game, join my Facebook group called Foul Pal. Because each one teach one, you will be amazed at what you might be able to teach someone else and what you may be able to learn from someone else, okay? It's a loving place, a comfortable place to let your hair down. And you're not only needed, but you're welcomed. You're welcomed to a place where you can have a family and orchids, okay? Please, like, comment, and subscribe. To the people's channel. The people's channel. Now, Fail Pals, can you see these roots? Can you see how ooey and gooey it is? Once you pull it out, you see that little string right here? That string you're going to keep. All of the matter, all of the um, flesh, all of the velum, just pull it off. And the Phalaenopsis orchid will still be able to... Um, receive nutrients okay and i mean if you don't know once you have a phalaenopsis orchid that does not have a lot of roots do not get to fertilizing it mama don't get to spraying it with phizan and hydrogen peroxide don't get to doing all that this is going to be more if you got any questions foul pal leanne if you got any comments, leave them in the box below. I will get to you immediately. I care just like you care. Well, Fail Pals, I wish you a happy growing. Until...